So we're talking vertical gardens, folks, and I have a particular issue with vertical gardens and that the ordinary gardener like you and I are just not going to get it right. I mean, we go to hotels and we see these beautiful walls of things and it's looking gorgeous, but you know, you've got to have really a lot of time, a lot of technical ability to get the right circulation, the right pH, and at the end of the day, well, why don't we stick to something that's a little bit more practical that you and I can afford, not only for our back pocket, but also for our mental stability. So what I'm going to show you today is three great ideas that are really easy and simple that you can get stuck into in your own garden to create that vertical effect. So the first part we're going to start off with is hanging baskets. And you're going to be sitting there saying now, oh, but they just dry out. I'm going to show you how to make sure that they don't. And it's all about getting the mixture right. And the basis of our mixture is potting soil. And only use potting soil. Don't go and get soil from the bottom of the garden or old potting soil from a dead chrysanthemum. <laughs> Obvious reasons. A couple of little scoops, a couple of handfuls of bone meal. Then we're going to add two cupfuls of vermiculite. Next thing I'm going to add in our coconut husk. And then we're going to add in a handful of organic pellets. Now, it's important why I'm saying organic pellets. Because folks, organic pellets will never burn your plants, even if the roots touch them. So a handful of organic, pop it in here. Now we've got to add two scoopfuls of water crystals. And then let's mix it all up. Alrighty, folks, so let's talk about our vertical garden, our hanging basket. Now, the first thing that you've got to do is when you're planting up a hanging basket, is please don't try and put it on a table like this, because look what's going to happen. So I always take just a pot and pop the basket inside it. I can now start planting. We've got our mixture. What we need is secret, secret to success is the good old plastic black bin liner. And all I'm going to do is cut it in half. What we're going to be using this for is to be able to hold the moisture. So if we're thinking about that, we need to poke just a few holes just in the base of the plastic. Not a lot. Three or four is more than enough. Right. Now, in we go with our beautiful mixture. And we're going to fill this basket up about halfway. Not all the way. Halfway. And now firm it down with my hand a bit. Now we're going to start with the plants. So what I'm going to start off with is some beautiful lobelias. Now, lobelias, fantastic. They're cascading by nature. And that's what we want in a basket. You know, we don't want to look at this part. I mean, that's pretty ugly. So let's plant it up. Now, there's a trick to this. And you just got to bear with me. The more you do it, the better you get. So get a really sharp pair of scissors. And from the inside, see where there's a gap. And literally, we're going to push it through. And we're just going to cut a little star shape into our coconut here. And we're gonna take our little baby plant and be gentle here, guys. Just try and be gentle, okay? We're gonna take it and we're gonna just gently get it through. And you'll notice now that my plant is actually sitting sideways. Do you see that? It's sitting horizontally. So we got vertical gardening going on right here. Yeah, so we pop that little baby in there and then I'm gonna do that all the way around. Make my little haiki. Okay, take your little bucket and you can literally fill the basket up just to beyond the lip. Okay, we're good to go. So for this basket, there are a couple of simple things that you need to know. First thing is, all the plants must love the same conditions. So if this is going to be a half day sun basket, say on the side of a wall that gets the full morning sun, we need to think about those plants. So we want something tall for the middle, like salvias. I love the salvias because they're so tough, they love the heat. Then we start going down. So think of it as a mountain. Here I want to use the intermediate little snappies. Um, and then I'm going to use some petunias. And then we're looking for something low. And the low are going to be these little hypoestes, tough as nails. You get them in this pink. You get them in white as well with white speckles. But honestly, grow like a weed. Fabulous as a little ground cover. And of course, in a hanging basket, brilliant. And I'm putting these little guys right on the edge planting them at a slight angle because I want them to naturally grow and cascade. Now once we've done this, we take the leftover of our mixture. See where you've got any gaps of soil, open up the plants gently and just fill it in. And now all we've got to find a place for is where to hang it and show you a bit of the watering and care instructions. So here we are, this is where we're going to be hanging our basket. You'll notice I've got a bit of chain here and I've got a bucket that we are going to water it with. And this is a critical part. Take your basket, 
and you're just gonna pop it into the water. And now we leave it in for about 20 minutes. Go make a cup of tea. And then I'm gonna come back in a little while and we're gonna hang this baby up. So our basket has been soaking for 20 minutes. It's now time to hang this baby up. There we go. Oh, there, that's the way. And we hang our little guy up. And there is our basket looking fantastic. This is vertical gardening, folks, that you and I can do. But if baskets aren't your thing, then maybe you want to step it up a bit and go with something a little bit more masculine, a bit more, what can we say, urban chic. That's a good word. This is what you can do. We're going to create a vertical garden using gutters. How cool is that? So all I'm going to do here is just measure so that I've got the holes in the same place. And take the drill, and in here I'm going to be putting one, two, all right? Because that's going to be what is going to be holding this up. And then just a whole lot of random drainage holes. Pretty simple. OK, we got that part. And now we're going to add our little end stop. And there we have it, nice and neat. Okay, next step is you need to get yourself a bit of this. Now this is fabulous stuff. It's got a bit of wire inside it and it's plastic coated so it's never gonna rust and look ugly. And it's actually just washing line wire and we need a long length of this. So don't cut it, please. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the twine and I'm gonna feed it in top to bottom and then through. Bit of a shoelace going on here. And now all that we're gonna do is just literally tie a knot. And what I like is that at the bottom, it looks nice and neat. We are now gonna attach our second tier. And all we're gonna do is we are gonna thread it through. Thread it through here, through the back, and then through again. Right. And you do this exactly what we've done here to the other side, same principle. So we've hung up our vertical garden. You can attach it with cup hooks or just straight onto the beams of the house. Now, you'll notice that they're hanging like this. So what we do is you take the bits of your twine that you've got left over, like that, and all we do is we pop it underneath, guide it up. We take a cable tie and thread it through. Your excess cable tie, of course, cut it off. All right, folks, so my great, awesome mixture is in there. And now all I do is put my little lettuce plants in. Now, really, just because I'm using lettuce doesn't mean you have to. But what I like about it is, first of all, you've got something to eat. They also look really cool. And with these lettuce, the perpetual lettuce, remember, you don't have to wait for them to form a big head before you start picking them. So it'll always look good. And in terms of watering and care, exactly the same as the hanging basket. They are going to need quite a bit of water, so make sure that when you're watering, use a watering can. And remember, every 10 days, make sure you put a liquid plant food in there to give these guys all the strength that they need to get that sweetness and crispiness that we're looking for. And there we have it. One times vertical, gorgeous lettuce garden in a couple of minutes. And the third option for vertical gardening is really something that anybody can do. You literally need a couple of planks, a few brackets, and your favorite pots, no matter what they are, working in three tiers, put in some beautiful shelves, and away you go.